Uh, more and more Americans, just so you guys now know, are feeling the effects from the pandemic and the stay at home orders issued all around the nation. Another 5.2 million Americans filed for unemployment just last week. That means altogether 22 million have filed since mid March. That is roughly, are you ready for this? 13.5% of the entire labor force unemployed. So when will the shutdown be over? When can the economy get back to normal? The president promised to deliver his guidelines to reopen America today. He also said that some states would open before May 1st. In a handful of states yesterday, protesters gathered together, ignoring all social distancing rules, angry about the lockdown orders that they called tyr tyrannical. This was the scene in Michigan where thousands of protesters gathered around the state capitol. Some did wear masks, others did not. They were ga gathered without any protection. It was all organized by the Michigan Conservative Coalition. They also created this, a huge bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic jam around the Capitol building. Meantime, in rally North Carolina, more than 100 protesters rallied against the stay-at-home order, saying there is an unconstitutional overreach that's killing the state's small businesses. One woman was arrested and charged with violating the executive order. Um, real quick, I just want to go to Al and let you know, in 1918, during the Spanish flu, people thought it was safe and there was something called the second wave. I'm going to see if any of you, both of you, make a guess of how many Americans died in one month in October in 1918. I'll start with you. Well, who do, what do you think the number was? Uh, I'll say 50,000. 50,000. Brandon, what do you think? Uh, I believe 28,000. 28,000. The answer is 195,000 people died in one month. Oh, wow. So that is what wow. we call a second wave in a pandemic. And uh, how do you feel about this, Brandon, seeing all those people together? Uh, Tori, I think it's just uh, the people who were covered without without a mask and all, I think it's just as irresponsible as the spring breakers down in Florida. Yeah. You know, like I, under, I understand what they are doing. I understand the effects that a lot of people are feeling right now but just because of what you just mentioned that yeah. second wave is the reason why a lot of people are still fearful not only to go outside before the country and some of our cities to uh, to open back up so yeah. um it was very ir irresponsible and a lot of people's uh in that showed up for that rally i agree with you al we you and i both believe in strongly in protesting and as their right do you think they still have a right to do this I mean, well, uh, the question is, what are they protesting? They're protesting the governor, but the governor didn't just do this because she was bored one afternoon. This is a public health crisis, and when she took an oath, she took an oath to, to protect the citizens of Michigan, and that's what I believe that she's doing. It's unpleasant for everybody. Everybody is worried about their economics, but what good is economics if most of the people around you are sick and can't come patronize your business anyway? I, I, I don't want to call it selfish. I think it's desperate. I think people are scared and confused, but this is a public health crisis. Yes, Just yes. take the governor out of this. This has nothing to do with the governor. This is a public health crisis. The virus can't see.